Let's go ahead and talk about what this project is. And you probably already saw in the background. Currently have an LQ4 engine, basically from a Chevy truck. We're putting it in that E92. Totally separate project, don't worry. I still have the N54, it's still running. So just in case you guys thought we were even partially intelligent here at Built in the Rain, we decided to go ahead and LS swap this E92 335XI. It was manual, but now as you can see, it's gonna be a DCT. Now, we did have to make a custom harness for the Max ECU, and we picked the Max ECU because it has frequent updates, that has new features, way more features in the Holly, by the way. Now, it also supports CAN bus and a dual clutch transmission. And don't worry, we were very well aware that Max ECU has a harness for the LS. However, we have time, we don't have money. So we went ahead and spent about three days, not including research and development, otherwise it'd be much more than that into wiring this harness as you can see we spent a lot of late nights working on this project but I don't want to just talk about the harness so let's go ahead and talk about this build and play some clips you know never in my life have I actually seen somebody happy to convert from manual to automatic <laughs> this guy is so happy about it going in the park so happy about seeing that big old P never thought I'd be happy to seeing a man being happy about seeing a big old P <laughs> Sadly, around here, we were starting to think maybe the motor needs to be taken to a machine shop. That's pretty good. Yeah. You know, I'm like face level to your ass. So we decided to inspect it ourselves. Ooh. And that is because there was a lot of old Ooh. oil in there. It was pretty nasty. Oh, and if there's oil in there, it's probably be fucking pouring out right now. This has ever been drained. And if there's oil in there, it's probably been fucking pouring out right now. Oh, she poured. So we figured out it needed some machine work. So we loaded everything up into the back of my Volkswagen here, and we came to a pretty decent conclusion, if I say so myself. This LS trash to the dump where it belongs. So put an M54 back in. There you go. Only way to do it. Notice how it's in trash bags. Now, thankfully, the machine shop we took it to got everything done really quickly. I'd say we were in and out within the week. And we're really surprised by how fast they got us in now, but I'm very happy with it. I can literally throw it together today. Is that all it's gonna take? And then I gotta wire it. Probably get out started this uh, week. So we loaded it up in a friend of ours CRV, took it home and got to work. Now, it was at this moment in time that we realized, hey, we need some side main cap bolts. So we had to run down to a Chevy dealership, you know, for BMW parts. Now, it was on the way over here. We had a little bet. We thought that the prices of these bolts would be cheap. And we both tried to guess the price range before we arriving because we did not know the price. It ended up being about $8 each. So let me let you in on some kind of secret. But we did go ahead and pay the price for the bolts. Yeah, I said that. Just try to put yourself in our position though. We just want to get this project up and running and we do not want to wait, you know, a week or two just for some bolts to arrive. Whatever. Freaking nice. Nice cock. Safety first, don't trip. You know what this sounds like? Oh. Careful, we might get copyrighted for that. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> 7,000 RPM. You think this could handle 7,000 RPM? We're gonna try. I'm not gonna send it. Wow. 
lost it. There's a job. I wasn't lazy, I'd use the stretch gauge, but... 45, good enough. 40. 40? 40. 40. Damn, let's see this thing spin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Six come with this screen near you. Beautiful. Hey, turn that shit up, That's fool. Flat. Fuck me. <laughs> 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 Holy shit, this is actually coming together. Fuck you. Weird flex, but okay. Yep. That's how you mount it to the beamer. Crappy rebuild. It connected to a quality German transmission. Quality. It is quality. quality. People do 1200 work on this. Quality. All right, so for everybody that's been following along, that guy in my video, he's gonna be joining me from now on. He's Kyle, great guy to work with. Really happy to have him with me on the channel. Really knowledgeable guy. And now we also have the LS E92. For those that are new, this project is going to get done. We are so motivated to finish this job. At the same time, don't get used to this background. This is a while I'm away kind of a thing. And again, if you're new, you should also follow along with this channel, not just for the LS, because we have a single turbo E90, 335i, and 54. It's almost ready. Almost ready. And we're not done there. There might also be a B8.5 S4 that's in the works as well. Might. Might be. Nonetheless, thank you for watching this video, and I really do hope to see you in the next one, because it's going to be freaking legit.